the last 30 years, I have supported myself by pretending to be other people. English toffs, thugs, clowns, other English toffs. But all that time, I have been nurturing a secret, which I confess to you now. My name is Hugh Laurie, and I love the blues. Well, we'll bring me flowers while I'm living. Now, back in the 1950s, very few people in this country had even heard of blues music. But there was one Englishman who knew what we were missing and decided to change that. And in so doing, he changed my life, and probably yours too, because he changed the course of popular music. <laughs> He's a real hero of mine, and I'm lucky enough to have the chance to meet him here at Abbey Road Studios for The One Show. I'm about to meet the trombone legend, Chris Barber. Your father was a, was a violinist. He bought me a little, a little fiddle, a uh, kind of child-sized one, when I was seven. And then at school, during World War II, I had violin lessons. I stopped trying with the violin very quickly. So you got your first trombone... Much this... later. I'd heard some jazz on the radio. Someone said, that's jazz, or whatever it was. So I, I began to be interested. One day I saw a, a sign in a record shop, a, a poster saying it'd be a jazz concert. Right. Now, I had never for a moment thought that all I'd read and heard would imply that anyone was going to play it in England. So this was from yeah. across the ocean, almost, or Mars, or anyway, oh, right. or, or something. Yeah. And um, so I went to this concert, and the, the door and, came in, and I walked down the aisle, to get the seat, and there's this music. The king of smokestack lightning, howling wolf. <laughs> Chris Barber introduced a wave of American blues performers to this country, who had a massive influence on those lucky enough to see them. Oh, the train I ride. So when you, when you brought over these, these extraordinary legends, what was the reaction of the audience? They loved it, they absolutely loved it. Or surprise, I would say, that we got the, the strength of, of, of acceptance, of, this, of love for it, immediately. The sound of it was amazing. Boom, 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 boom. We were determined to do what we could to, to, to get the music accepted at all in the first place, but to get it understood and, 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 and loved by more people. Basically, it inspired a generation of British bands who would go on to conquer the world. And the music that I play on my own records, yes, I had to get that in somewhere, has been directly influenced by Chris Barber and the artists he brought to this country. This extraordinary position of brokering these talents going backwards and forwards well, across the Atlantic. It, it, I mean, did you feel a, a little a, like a man with a mission? Of course, yes. Yeah. I mean, the mission was to, to get people to understand how important the music was and, and take it seriously. Right. All of it. You know? Right. And uh, I still feel the same about it. 